Hello everybody! Today we're going to see how I draw Boba Fett from The Mandalorian. Just so you know, there's a coloring book that you can get through Amazon. Just follow the link in my description and you can get a coloring book to show me how you color to how I draw. Okay, pencils first and then Sharpies. So if you don't want to watch the pencil portion of the video where I sketch the entire thing out, look in the description and you'll find a link that you can click on that will take you to the Sharpie portion of the video. I'll even include one for color. But for those of you that are going to stick around, I'm going to start off with a quick sketch for myself and get us going. Now, yes, Mandalorian version. Um, this is a little, uh, I don't mean to shame him, but he's a little pudgier, you know, a little, a little thicker. And, uh, you know, I'm happy with that because, yeah, that's me. You know, I'm a little little pudgier, a little thicker. I'm an older man that, yeah, I put on the pounds. That's what happens. You get older, it happens. So I kind of like it, you know. <laughs> it's like, yes, that means you don't have to be super slim. Uh, uh, I'm trying to think of another actor out there right now that, uh, see, I'm, I'm such an old man that's out of touch that uh, I don't know. So, so yeah, that's what I'm trying to say is like, good, good for him, you know, good for, I don't know the guy's name, for, uh, for being an, a real, a real person size, you know, that's what it comes down to. So I'm a little happy about that. Okay. So yeah, a little, a little, uh, exciting and we'll see what happens now. Uh, let me get on my soapbox here. Ugh, it, this is exciting. I'm glad we have a new Boba Fett and whatnot. But it feels to me like they're cramming a lot into these episodes. And I, I want it to be fleshed out and I want it to be good. But honestly, this season, it feels like they are trying to uh, set up everything you know and that's that's great that's great because that tells us a great direction we're going in but I also I want to see the storyline that's that's what I'm, it's coming down to that I I kind of want to see where it's gonna go with the child with little Grogu you know the Grogu adventures I, I like it and we're running out of episodes so there's no way it's gonna wrap up you know don't know what's gonna happen and you know also the uh, the harsh reality of Grogu may not survive. Think about that. You know, we don't see him in, see in future episodes. Now, granted, Grogu wasn't designed when the newer movies were being made, so it's understandable that they didn't plan for him and he's not seen in the newer movies. So that's kind of what I mean by, you know, he, he may not survive because we don't see him in the, the uh, more recent movies. But again, it's because he wasn't planned. He wasn't ready yet, right? So that doesn't mean he didn't survive. It just means that that uh, exactly that that he wasn't he wasn't fleshed out. He wasn't even thought of. You know that kind of thing. Maybe I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know how they designed it. How they how they figured it out. But anyway, I just look at it from every angle. Uh, I'm, I'm not a, a pessimist or an optimist. I'm a realist. I said, okay, well this is what they have. This is what they've given us. This is what's possible, you know? So, I take that into consideration. But unfortunately, sometimes that does mean, you know, facing cold hard facts. And that's what I mean by that. All right, so this worked out pretty pretty well. So let me, let me get some details in here. Now, of course, I'm gonna do a lot of this with color because all this, these dents and whatnot. I mean, I can do the shape, but I'm not going to add every little nick and, and shape in there because, it, again, it's it's a uh, it's a lot, a lot of damage, you know. So I'll let I'll let color do a lot of that silverish look to it. But also, don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining. You know, I, I love I love this show, I love where it's going, I love the fact that we have it. It's so great, you know? 
but I will, I will give my opinions because guess what? This is how I draw. This is how I complain. This is how I perceive the show and how I want it to be. <laughs> All right, I think that's good. It's just a quick sketch um, just to get the placement and everything, but I think that's going to work out. So let me erase some of these sketch lines because the detail I'm going to do with color. I'm not too worried about the specific little tiny detail. I just need the placement. And the sketch worked out pretty well. I didn't have to press it very hard. The downside is that means I can't erase a lot. Because I want my Sharpie to stand out, not my pencil lines. And when I first started throwing sketches out, it was just a quick idea of where is it going to go. And usually what I do is I press harder as I get more confident, but the sketch actually worked out. I didn't have to press too hard. I did, I did, uh, I got it right on the first, first few lines, first few strokes. Okay, so I say we welcome everybody that skipped and get going. Welcome skippers, welcome to the Sharpie portion of the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, because I do a different drawing every day. You can join along and have some fun. I'm gonna be using a Sharpie fine point and a Sharpie pen, mostly the fine point, but the pen's a little finer than the fine point. You can find things that the fine point can't quite find. I've sketched the entire thing out. I've erased the majority of the sketch lines. I'm gonna get going with the Sharpie pen to control some of the line width and see if I can get his helmet looking right. I've got him at a certain angle, so I want to try to see if I can get this positioning right. Then I'll worry about the details. So I'm gonna draw his visor, something like this. That's not bad, that's not bad. And also I'm gonna come back and color it in with, with a Sharpie, I mean with, with color later. So I'm not too worried about thickening all that up or coloring all that in. But I do, yeah, I do want to thicken up some of these lines just to control it a little bit better. Like that. I like that. All right, so I'm going to give him his, his little front portion. Like this. And usually I use this for, like, face details, you know? But uh, since there's no details on him, that's what I'm using it for. The, the finer things because this is super thick and it might get out of hand so that looks pretty good to me let's build on this oh I should close that off huh okay so like I said that with color now I can do the rest of his face and just try to figure out um, contours and placement that looks pretty good to me so that's going to go in we're going to go like this that looks really good the nice thing is too we can always say well that's the damage you know if you don't get it right if you don't get it smooth or, or where it's going to be you know it, it's supposed to have a little bit of damage anyway so we can we can kind of allow ourselves to make some some mistakes all right looking pretty good let's do the other side then I'll do the top of his dome because I want to draw his his little um, I keep wanting to call it a visor his little uh, eyepiece that's on his ear here I want to make sure I draw that first so um, it, because it's in front, that's why I want to do it first. And I always say draw what's in front first, so you can, uh, so you don't draw through it whenever you're you're ready for that part, you know. And I'm taking my time with the face here because this is this is kind of the important part. These are the, you know, the facial features that will make it look like Boba Fett. So I just want to make sure I get it right. Or at least close enough. Okay. Looking good to me. Oops, not very straight. Oh well. I'm okay with that. Like I said, we're gonna we're gonna chalk that up to well that's that's uh um what do you call it? It's 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 the uh battle damage to the, from the Sarlacc, you know, that's what we're gonna call it. Um 
And see like this, this should have been the line right here. Let's do that real fast like that. Shouldn't have been back there, should have been right there. That's okay, I am fine with that. So let's draw his little, his little edge here. And again, I can draw now the, the side of his, um, again, I wanted to call it a visor. His, uh, what do you call this? Um, oof, I don't know. I don't know what to call it. I keep calling on to call it something else. Um, this thing. His little eyepiece. His aimer, I guess. But again, I can control the line width much better, and that's why I'd rather do it with this small Sharpie. So something like that. Okay, so now that I've got that defined, I'm gonna draw his head. And see how I got a little bumpy? That's okay, because that's why I wanted to do it with this small Sharpie. Let's see if I can smooth some of that out. If I can't, I'm fine with it. So, like, see how I got thick over on that edge? Eh. No big deal. Again, color's gonna do some of this. And also, like I was saying, it's, uh, we're gonna call it damage from the Sarlacc pit and just from being a bounty hunter. Um, also, I'm thick thickening up these edges because when I switch over to this Sharpie, you're gonna see a huge difference in line width. So, I kind of want to match what's about to happen. And again, it helps me hide a few things, you know? Helps me get ready for the overall look. All right. All right, looks good to me. I'm going to switch over to the other Sharpie. And get going with the body. All right. And I talked about this in the sketch. All the little dents and dings and whatnot. I'm doing that with color. I'm not worried about that with... Uh, with um, the Sharpie. Okay, so I always say draw what's in front. I've got his arm up first, um, holding, a, holding a pistol. Um, I, I don't really have a picture of, I mean, I kind of do have a picture of what it looks like, but it's gonna be just the underside anyway. So let's draw his, let's see, his, his shoulder pad is gonna be up a little bit because this arm is raised. So I'm gonna go ahead and just draw it up like this. Okay, because of the way his arm is up. And uh, that also means that I can control it, or control it, I can attach it to his um, armor. And let's go ahead and draw that edge. Just so we have it there. Okay, and that's gonna be his chest plate. So, let's do the chest plate so you see where it is. So that way I can draw his arm coming out like that. There's the, the inside part and then the chest plate, I'll get as, as best I can. See how thick this is? That's what I was talking about, that man. You're gonna see a huge difference in line width, and that's why I wanted to try to get it to look as much as I could, just like, like this. Okay, and then um, his, his little shirt edge. I'm gonna do a little ripped. Something like this. And I was talking about this in the uh, sketch. Too. Nope, you know what? I talked about it in the sketch. You want to know what I talked about? You go over there. Um, okay, so let's draw his arm up and then I'll add some detail all in here in a second, okay? So the arm is gonna be up here. There's the underside, like this. I'll add some more detail in a second. There's his elbow up to the... Um, Forearm piece, wow, I wanted to call it his shoulder piece. That's not what it is. Okay, and let's see if I can try to figure out the hose situation we got going on here. Um, because it goes up. Okay, up to his shoulder. 
and um, let's see there's one in the middle one in the back and so we'll say the other one you can see it kind of like if say we'll say this is the underside so that means you're gonna say and again I'm making a lot of this up I can only go you know so many details and make it perfect so the other one we're gonna say it's like this back behind that like that okay now uh, let me go ahead and start adding some details so you see where we are because this is his his like robe I want to call it his Jedi robe but <laughs> it's not and so yeah his arm is all raised up and so it's it's really putting a lot of stress and uh, wrinkles on his his uh, shirt which is all underneath this whole thing which is already getting some some wear and tear being pushed around like that and uh, this I, I can't really do much besides a little bit of, of, of edging the plating of the armor like this that's all I can really do but that's okay that's that works right because, I mean, in the overall big picture, no one's going to look at this and go, that's not right. I mean, it's Boba Fett. It's just going to be an awesome picture. That's all it comes down to, you know? Okay, so for his gun, he's holding... I need to get something. You can see the reference that I'm, I'm talking about. He's holding a pistol, but all you're seeing is the backside of the hand because of the way that his... I've got him like this. Okay, so we're really only going to see this part, and that's really it because of the way the pistol's in the way because it's going to come through like this, but then there's the handle coming through so we can't really see much besides some fingers wrapping over like that that's really about it the front side is going to be maybe the thumb but again you can't see as much there you can see a little bit of the other fingers but then we're going to do this for the trigger finger and that's it that's all you can really see and also again when we're drawing with the sharpie like this it just gets all blobbed together anyway so just gonna do something like this for the gun and again I'm just using a picture of reference that I, I think I can see it but it looks just like a simple little pistol like this and that's it that's all it can really do because the rest is all in the detail from the from profile view okay so I have just a little bit of, of, of uh, detail to kind of make it come alive you know there's not much I can do. We'll say that's the finger like that. And one of the nice things is we can do stuff like this. Just draw like a line. Like, like well, that's where the the positioning is. The uh, where it was put together and manufactured. But that's it. See, that's all we really got to do because anything else is just overkill at this point. Oh, oh, you know what? Let me do this for his armor too. Um, he does have that plating in the armor. Something like this. And uh, I wanted to do it like this. With the smaller Sharpie. To make it kind of stand out. That it's it's a different different kind of plating. You know, it's not quite the same, same edge as that. All right, uh, yeah, 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 so then there's stuff on his side, but I'm gonna do that with color. Um, he's got his his um, Jedi robes. I'm just gonna start calling them that. They're not, I know they're not Jedi robes, but his little robe all wadded up like that underneath his, his, his outfit. And so now I'm gonna do his other arm. So I'm gonna do another um, shoulder piece like that. And then um, Jedi robes to this other shoulder. Uh, shoulder. See, I keep wanting to call it a shoulder piece. This other arm um, rocket? No, it's not even a rocket. It's a. This is the one that shot the rope. Anybody want to correct me? Good. Uh, I'll do the hand and then I'll add some details in the hand. We're just gonna do like that. He's just kind of he's in a, a shooting position So it's not really 
doing anything besides supporting his movement. Alright, so that a little bit of detail. And again, I've got a lot of creases and folds from where his, his robe is being uh, all, all wrinkled up under his his uh, his armor. Uh, for the armor, again, I can't really do too much. But we can do stuff like this just to make it, you know, uh, edged ed edgy you know it's like it's 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 a hard edge and he's just got regular gloves he doesn't have his his boba fett gloves right because he's he's uh uh what do you call it he's a, in scavenger mode i guess is the best way to say it because he he doesn't have his usual uh outfit right this is this is what he, he salvaged from getting his stuff back all right so let's see let's draw his his uh his belt because he's got uh there, there's a shoulder i'm all over the place all right so um jedi robes to his belt it's hard i don't have much of a good picture of his belt honestly uh, it looks like just okay just bullets just a bunch of bullets so I'm gonna put an edge right here like that and I guess I guess we'll just do with bullets let's just go ahead and just do is uh, cuz they hang down the bottom a little bit so we're just gonna start placing them like this and I, I decided to go with the big sharpie normally I do stuff like this with a smaller sharpie but you know let's make it consistent And it doesn't really have to be perfect, perfect, tiny detail, you know? All right, let's do a couple more. Just back behind, like that. All right, so now I'm gonna come back with a smaller detail with the small Sharpie. Uh, again, his robes all stressed out and, and pushed in under his suit. I'm gonna draw the edge of the belt. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the bottom of it like this. Now that I can. And I think this helps I can control the line width a little bit better too. And they're all held in, so we're gonna go ahead and put that in like that. Like they're they're bullets on a on a on a strap. I guess we could do this. Right? That'll make sense. There we go, that'll work. And of course, it's holding up a, uh, a uh, oh, you know what, before I forget, since I can draw the top of it now, I'm gonna draw his, his uh, rocket. Like that, that's all you can really see because of the way it's going back there. Um, and then I'm gonna draw the little circular edge there. And then the, the blaster. And you can see a little bit behind his back too, like the top of the rocket part. So we'll go ahead and put that in there. Let's see. Or no, wait a minute, he doesn't. He doesn't have it. Oh, I'm sorry, you, you can't see it. My, my mistake. The rocket is gone, so we're gonna go ahead and just say we'll close it off like this. So you see the top of it going back there like that, okay? Oh, that's right, because Cobb Vance used Vanth. Vanth, I wanna say Vance, because I always wanna say Cobb Vance, Vance Refrigeration <laughs> from the office, but that's not who he is. Okay, all right, so um, let's give him a gun holster. Like that, we'll throw a little detail on there. that 
Okay, and now his Jedi robes. And so, let's see. It's hard to see exactly because I don't have a good. Again, I'm going by quick screenshots from this from the from the show. Um, but it looks like just. Let's see. Yeah, um, just just um, robes just hanging down. Okay, so we're gonna say this is coming out like this. We're gonna say this one's coming out here like this, and I can't see if if it's longer on any edge or not. And we'll do like this. Okay, and then I'm gonna break it up on his legs so you can see his leg right there. And then I'm just gonna kind of play around with some some lines and then come back and add some smaller ones because um, it's it's a, a very, very flowing material. And so you can get a lot of cool uh, material lines out of it. I mean, I, see, I want to do a whole bunch like that, but I shouldn't. I shouldn't draw them all. But again, it's a very, very cool flowing material, so it it, uh, it makes it look really flowing with lines like that. Okay, so now we're just drawing his uh, his leg, and I specifically wanted this one out so I can I can draw his cool um, knee pad that he's got. Okay. Or his, his little rocket launcher knee pad. Okay, again, cloth, so creases and folds, again, to make it come alive. And same thing over here, it's just cloth down to his boots, and boots just look like normal little boots. I don't see anything special in them. Uh, looks like uh, like wrapping, like a protective wrapping over the boot, so we're just going to do... Like this. Okay, I'll add some detail in a second. Again, coming over here to do the inside of the leg. Uh, I can't see if there's any kind of knee pad over there, so we're not gonna worry about it. We're just gonna close it off with the boot. Okay. There we go, something like that. Okay, so just a little bit of extra detail, and then we'll do the rest with color. Um, it's hard to see exact detail. Something like that. And again, some more lines, just a few, just for, for wrinkles. But there you go. I say we take care of the rest with color. So that is Boba Fett from The Mandalorian. So here's how I colored it. Tell me what you think in the comments below, or show me what you did in our Discord group. Just have fun and make it your own, because remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw, and we'll meet somewhere in between. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures on how I draw. Plus, don't forget to hit that notification button for new videos.